Hello everyone, Only Draven here again, and today we're doing another tutorial in Minecraft Sky Factory 4. Today I'm going to be showing how to make a cow in a jar. Um, not a really hard one, but one that I've seen a lot of people questioning about easy methods. And there's a couple different ways to put it together. We're going to do the easiest one that I've found. Um, so as normal, uh, again, if you like the video, you find it helpful, please be sure to click like. And most importantly, please be sure to smack that subscribe button. That way you'll be able to see all my tutorials and content as it releases. All right, so uh, for today's build, we're going to need to kind of make three things. Uh, the first thing we're going to need is a market. Um, and a market is pretty easy. It's just going to be five wood, two planks, and a piece of red wool. That's going to give you your market. Now, if you're not sure how to use a market, I'm going to touch on it a bit here, but I do have a tutorial specifically showing how to make and use the market that I will link at the end of this video. Uh, next, we're going to need a milk jar. And a milk jar is an, a wood plank, seven pieces of glass, and a bucket of milk. Pretty easy. We just need one of those. And lastly, we're going to need an anvil, which is three iron ingots, I'm sorry, four iron ingots, and three iron blocks. And that's going to give your anvil. You only need one of those as well. So, super easy. Um, to start off, you're going to need at least one grass block, uh, because we're going to need a cow, and cow seeds grow on grass blocks. So, that's what the market is for. The market is going to give us our cow. So, if we go here in the market, we find cow seeds, and click on it, we'll see that it's 16 raw corn. All you have to do is drop 16 raw corn in there, and that'll give you your cow seed. Um, really only need one of these, although a couple are helpful. Um, for just expediency, we're gonna go ahead and just grab a couple seeds here to get started. And we're gonna plant that on our grass block right there. Now, in order to contain and get the cow in the jar, we need to limit the amount of movement space it has. So the milk jar needs to be in a hole. Very simple, just a one by one block hole will work. Next, we're going to build a little frame around it that's at least too high so that our cow in question cannot get away. I'll go ahead and one out just to give myself a little wiggle room. So now the cow really is going to pop up on this square and he has one to go back. That's it. Now to speed this up, I'm going to use some bone meal to grow the cow quicker. And once the cow is full size, we're just going to push him down into the hole and then we're going to take our anvil and we're going to drop it against the upper layer above the cow, which will cause it to drop and press the cow into the milk jar. So we're going to go ahead and test that. So we'll go our cow and here we go. Now we're just going to push him into the hole. Get in there. Get in, little cow. And then anvil. Boop. And that's all there is to that. And now we have a cow in a jar. And you can break that with a pickaxe, pick it up, and move it to any location you want. I'm in creative, so if I try that, it's just going to shatter for me. But in a regular world, you could just break it with a pickaxe, and then you'll be able to pick up the cow in the jar and move it to any location. So, I have one over here already. You can just set it on a block. And as you can see, the cow in the jar is about half full of milk. Over time, this jar will fill with milk. And you can use a bucket by right-clicking on the cow in the jar, and it will take some of the milk out, and you get a milk bucket. So this is an unlimited supply of milk that will continuously replenish without you having to do anything to it. Um, there, there is a bit of a cool down as the milk refills. As you can see in the very top of the screen there, it says cow in a jar milk stored, and it goes up to a maximum of 8,000. 8, so as that number goes up, the milk increases, and eventually it'll get to 8,000 and fill. But that gives you an unlimited supply of milk for a very easy process. And then the best part is you have your anvil. It is not consumed. You can use the anvil again. If you didn't already have an anvil, it's helpful for things such as enchantments and such, but we'll cover that later. So that's all that is required to make a cow in a jar. Very, very simple build today. So, all right. Now, if you have any questions about this tutorial or any of my tutorials, please be sure to put them down in the comments. Um, as well, uh, if you have any recommendations or suggestions for other tutorials that you'd like to see, uh, throw those down there as well. I'm always looking for new stuff to put together for you. Um, and again, please be sure to remember to like and subscribe. But that's all for today's video. Thank you very much for tuning in. 
Have a great day.